It's very interesting to me that in today's modern times, in today's day and age, we are still employing ancient ways of working styles. You do realize that the concept of working 9 to 5 started in the industrial age when the industrial revolution started in the 1800s, don't you? At the bottom level, you have the workers in the factory, and then you have your managers to manage them, and on top, you have the bosses who dictate everything. Hey, that basic structure is the same as today's corporation, isn't it? No change? So why? Why in today's information age where monetary systems have evolved, there's advancement of technology where we have breakthroughs everywhere, we're in a digitally connected borderless world, and communication is instant, and we can travel freely anywhere we want easily. Why are we still employing the working ways of the old? Hi everyone, I'm John, one half of the Corporate Breakout Couple. A little background about myself and my wife, we were corporate employees for more than 15 years of our lives and we broke out of the corporate rat race two times and got retired young at the age of 40 in 2020. We are very passionate about creating videos about the corporate rat race, about financial independence, early retirement, cost of living, money because we as ex-corporate employees, we feel you. We understand the pain points, the struggles, the lack of control, the horrible bosses as a corporate employee and we would like to raise awareness and share with you that the corporate path is not the only way you have to take. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how the corporate brainwashing has kept you boxed up in the matrix and running the hamster wheel well into your old age. Before we continue, we appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can create more videos like this for you. First, let's examine how a typical corporate structure works. You have your first level of people, your C-suite, like CEO, your CIO, CMO, CFO. These are your strategic people that make key decisions for the company. And then you have your centralized corporate resources, people like your corporate comms and PR, your HR, which is your human resource, your finance sector, and the IT department that handles the technology for everybody in the company. And like all company structures, there is a business unit that's revenue generating, the people that will deliver the products and services to the customers. I'm talking about the engineers, the people who are at the back end, the operation people. And finally, you have the frontliners, the sales and marketing folks, the customer service people that will be fronting the customers. Now, above the C-suite, they will report to a board of directors who sit on top of them, who gives advice on a monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly basis. Sometimes the board members are shareholders, sometimes they are not, but they are invited in to give advice and therefore given a director's fees. And if the company are funded by investors or if the company is public, is listed in the stock exchange, then you have the investors which the company is accountable to. Quick question, which group of people here are actively working regularly, committing their time and energy just to draw a salary? And which group of people are passively involved but also get paid money in the form of dividends and director's fees? In other words, what I'm really trying to say is, do you want to be the workhorse that does all the work and carry the whole weight of the company? Or do you want to be the owner of the horse carriage, sits around passively and get transported everywhere? For every large and successful company, all the various units need to come together and run like clockwork in order to be highly profitable. And what does that entail? That means a strong corporate governance, business processes and multiple workflows to be implemented, risk management, compliance where you have tax auditors coming in, and that contributes to a lot of red tapes. So, where does all the corporate brainwashing come in? First of all, you need to be aware and understand that you are simply just a cog in the system, which means you have a certain allocated role to perform, which is dictated by the company and not by you. And what that also means is your company owns you and your job. In return, the company pays you a salary, which is dictated by the role and responsibilities of that position and nothing more. 
Well, in reality, the company doesn't care whether your personal interest or passion aligns with your role. In fact, the company's vision and mission statement is what they expect you to adhere to, not your own personal vision. So, at the end of the year, you'll be invited into a performance review session with your boss and maybe the HR as well, where you are graded on your year's performance, which by the way, has nothing to do with your personal aspirations. In terms of your performance, what the company is really monitoring is your value to the company in terms of three main contributing factors. Number one, revenue. Are you helping the company to make more money in terms of the products and services or bringing more sales if you're a frontliner? Number two, the bottom line, are you helping the company to save money, to cut costs and improve how much you can bring the product price down so that you can earn more profits as a company? And number three is operational efficiency. Are you also helping in terms of cost cutting internally, in terms of structuring, in terms of the processes and workflows such that the company can save more money in the process? Now, based on what I've shared so far, if you generally agree with me how a typical corporate structure operates, I now have a few questions for you. My first question is, does your personal vision and goals in life has anything to do with the job that you're currently holding in your company? If your answer is no, you are just holding the job for the salary and it's great that you can acknowledge that. I then have a second question for you. Do you think the reason why you do not feel fulfilled and happy in your day-to-day -day job is because your personal vision and the company's vision does not align? In other words, could it be because your personal vision and the company's vision is misaligned such that there is a constant resistance in your career path? Let's talk about money. Let's say you are somebody who agrees that you are working at a job simply for the salary and your corporate career path is the only way you know how to make money. You do realize that you're committing the prime years of your life, 40 to 45 years in a job until you retire. And that's a very long time, isn't it? So logically, if money is the main reason why you're working at your job 40 to 45 years, is there no other way? Is there no other way where you have your money working and running passively for you while you will have the time and space to decide what kind of life you want for yourself? Today, I'm simply here to remind you not to settle. Do not settle for anything less than what you deserve. Do not settle for the status quo. Do not settle for what the society, what the government is telling you because you don't have to be the majority or part of the majority to succeed in life. And I'm here to support you and to encourage you to embark on your self-discovery journey where you can grow and learn and discover things about yourself that you might be surprised about. All you need to do is to simply start. Take action, take your first little step and your building blocks will be built and the process will follow through. All you need to do is to just take action. That's all. I hope today's video has given your brains a little to think about. At the end of the day, it's not whether I'm right, I'm wrong, whether you agree with me or do not agree with me. It's all about you getting clear on what's right for you. And that's all that matters. Do like this video and subscribe to join our YouTube family so we can create more videos like this for you. Do you know we have an awesome community of like-minded people who want to win in life called the Breakout Community? Click on the link below to find out more and join. See you there.